Hey people, I rewrote my piston controller script and thought I'd do a little how to use and uh, well demonstration with this poorly made contraption of mine. So it's no longer just a piston controller script, it's actually a piston and rotor controller. Um, once you input the script you get these lines at the top and you basically don't want to change anything below this line here. which. Uh, yeah, just got shut up. Anyhow, yeah, we got the, as with the previous version, we got a bunch of move and modifiers up here where you can set and invert each control axis. So we have AD, WS, QE, space and C, and a mouse. And they basically determine how fast stuff happens when you press one of these inputs. Uh, the control name is the cockpit or the remote or whatever you want to use to control things. If you don't input anything or the name is wrong, it'll just use the first one found on the grid, so it's not strictly necessary. Next up, we got, well, the things you want to control. Now, I've added support for both single blocks and groups. So, whatever name you input here, if it is a single block, we'll use that. If it is a group, we'll use that instead. And it'll find out itself whether they're rotors or pistons. And then we got one for each of the six uh, types of control input. And that's basically it. If you leave it empty, then that input will be disabled, will not be used. That's basically it. If you type it wrong, it'll throw an error. So if I am to change this to side S, then it'll throw an error over here. Side S, not found, correct or clear name. So it should be pretty user friendly. Just quick interlude, I forgot to mention, if you want to reverse an individual thing, let's say you have a group of pistons, and you want to have one of those go the opposite direction, what you gotta do is go into the custom date of that one block and chirp ref for reverse, doesn't matter, capitalization doesn't matter, but uh, with that set, that one block, piston or rotor will be reversed in direction. Now I've set up to use with this again uh, wonky contraption. So I am gonna demonstrate that. So I got Q and E set to turn this out here. And what I want to do is I got a flipped over ship over there that is off. I want to move it into my bigger ship. So I'm gonna move uh, a bit left here. That is right. But uh, yeah, doesn't really matter, does it? So a bit more. Let's turn this down and we explode our ship. That's it's fine, it's fine, it's all good. And there we go. So now I can move it up, move it a bit in. Got all my controls linked to the different pistons and stuff. This is again not the best of uh, use cases, but uh, yeah, it was just a quick demo. It was uh, whatever I could come up with in a short amount of time. It's also quite wobbly actually. Uh, so yeah, now we gotta get it in there. Let's see if I do this. Yeah, that seems good. And if we then move to that out there, turn around. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Be sorry about all the signals. Moving a bit further up and a bit further out to the side. I think we're getting there. I think it's working. Yeah. So yeah, I, I mean you can build all sorts of things. This is again just what I came up with in a very short amount of time. Um, and I'm sure that you creative people can come up with a lot of things. I'm sure I actually don't know whether this script exists in a different version. I'm pretty sure it does. And uh, yeah, I think we got it inside. All right. Is that right? It's bouncing a bit, but it seems to be where I want it to be, kind of, sort of. Anyhow, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of control axes bound to uh, the mouse here, Q and E, uh, space and C to rotate that, forwards, backwards for that. So, uh, yeah, and of course A and D for uh, rotating side to side. So, that is all. That is a bit of demonstration, I guess. Uh, and the first thing was uh, how to use. So yeah, that's all. Uh, thank you for watching. The link is in the description for the workshop link. And I uh, hope some people find it useful. See ya.